Well, I had been thrown by a horse, so I had a great deal of pain, obviously, and that was what brought me to surgery. Ms. Kate was referred to me by my partner. Um, she had sustained a compression fracture. Um, she was in a lot of pain. He had tried putting her in a brace, but the brace wasn't helping, and she still really couldn't do uh, many of her normal yeah, activities of daily right. living. I think he knew what he was going to see, uh, and so we looked on MRIs and other x-rays and clearly saw a 65% fracture. What happens with compression fractures are they normally occur in people that are a little bit older and that have osteoporosis. In healthy bone, um, there's a lot of bone that fills these gaps and this is kind of like a woven network of bones and this bone provides stability when it gets compressed. But as you get older and you get osteoporosis, this bone um, is no longer there and the interconnections are lost. So now, when there's a compression, like Miss Kate, she fell off of a horse, the bone gets compressed and you get this fracture. And what we essentially do is we use three-dimensional x-ray to put a needle into the bone and then we inflate a balloon which creates this cavity around the broken fragments and then under x-ray we inject cement into the bone and literally the cement basically uh, fills the gaps where the fractures are and when we're done it looks like this where the cement is now part of the lattice work of the bone and it provides stability. Everyday functioning is fine, I can no longer ride horses, bungee jumping is out but I can return to basic uh, exercises and swimming, of course, and mild aerobics, but and nothing else has changed. So I think Dr. Mather is one of the most compassionate physicians, but surgeons I have ever met. This is a very sensitive, compassionate man who will respond to the patient as a person. And I so value that, and I would like future patients to know that's who they're going to meet.